All right, still talking to my flat earthies. And guys, don't take offense to this. I'm trying to, like, I want to find the middle with you, okay? That's it. Starla said, if we're living in a sim, shape doesn't matter. Now, this is another thing that, like, I think disconnects us from Gaia, from the cosmos, from the universe. Like, we're living in a simulation in the sense that we're living under a control matrix where they've literally programmed us to behave a certain way by using media, fucking poison, uh, you know, everything indoctrination whatever you know dude our freaking brains or ideas might be coming from the ai from source or something but our meat bodies are real like gaia is real this shit is real what we're experiencing right now is real the simulation is the control matrix like it's a web of illusions and fucking narratives and structures that keep us disconnected from our fucking true divine power because dude we are infinite we are we are the spiral gods and yeah, I'm sorry, I think Flat Earth is reductive, and I said it was selfish. I'm not saying you guys are selfish. I'm saying it, as a theory, is a selfish theory. It's like a, it's like a, it's like self-centered as a species. It's saying, we're it, this, this, we're the only thing that matters, <laughs> you know, it's weird. Like, if we're in the sim, then that means that Earth and Gaia, the stars and Gaia's hum aren't real, but bro, they're real. The mushy ley lines are real. H how are the mushy ley lines all working in tandem if they're on a, a flat plane, you know? It, it negates all of the ley line energy, the ether energy that we've been talking about, you know? Like, honestly, I think that the flat earth stuff is to confuse everyone about the firmament so that we don't understand that NASA is going after the firmament. In reality, in this real physical, spherical world where all the ley lines work together, dude, they're literally crisscrossing across the globe. That's how they work. They're creating energy lines in a sphere. That That's how everything works. As above, so below. Like, if as above, so below is, like, you guys still believe that, right? Most of you guys are spiritual. I'm just trying to reconcile how you hold the spirituality but you lose all the spiritual things like the ether is what gives us our spirituality you know gaia the ley lines the mushies that's where this is all coming from the ether the fucking firmament it's all working together in tandem and nasa's working t t to take it all down and they want you to think that it's a hard dome over us but no it's it's like a spiritual layer that they're trying to kill and no offense, it feels like Flat Earth is trying to help kill the spiritual layer. And I'm never going there because I know this shit is real. I I've been shown it's real. I get it, dude. Like, we have to question everything, but I feel like we're getting lost in the sauce. Like, we we we're getting caught on the wrong parts. Like, not every single thing NASA says is a lie, but everything they say has a lie, right? So we got to figure out what the lie is. And to me, the lie is not that the earth isn't round. It's that, you know, they're, they're lying about what the firmament is so that we don't understand it. I mean, dude, if you look at it objectively, it's essentially the Q movement. Like, I love my Q people too, but they are misguided. They are being led by feds. Like, it's undeniable. Ma Michael Flynn is leading it. Like, it's a disinformation campaign to keep... All of us from coming together and going, oh, it's not, it's all of them. It's not just Democrat. Like, dude, Q is literally like, yeah, they're all P words, but it's just Democrats. Like, come on, dude, it's all of them. Like, do you not see the PSYOP here? And our meat bodies are real too. Like, we're in a control matrix, but this shit is real, I think. Like, the physical form is real and sacred. It's a vessel for consciousness to experience the material world. The illusion is the idea that the body and the material are all there is. The control matrix traps people in the limited view, making them forget they're connected to the infinite. You're broken free of that. Like, I am. I want you guys to be broken free of that. The simulation is the control matrix. Like, what they use to control our consciousness, you know blocking the uh big light and freaking changing music and stuff to 440 hertz and freaking the 12 month calendar the fake history all the lies about our origins that stuff is to disconnect us all right let's talk about polaris for a second okay let's say we're on a flat earth right pretend this is a round flat earth you're standing here you're looking up at polaris sure right here dead in the center you're gonna get your tree ring effect right if you stand over here bro and you start spinning and looking up, that star is gonna look like a spirograph. It's gonna go like. But what do you see? No, you're seeing concentric circles, right? 
How is that possible on something that's a flat plane where you're, you're moving all the way freaking over here and then, like, dude, I'm sorry, but this makes more sense, you know, if this was all round. But yeah, you wouldn't get concentric star trails. You would get wildly different patterns no matter where you... If you stood here, if you stood here, if you stood here, you'd get wildly different patterns from those stars spinning around. Think of it like a, literally a spirograph. People say you can't see the curve. Bro, if you go on the Sears Tower, you can see the curvature of the Earth. It's true. Go on the Sears Tower and look over Lake Michigan. Done it myself. You can see that it curves. No, I don't trust NASA, but I do trust my eyes. Yeah. Another thing, water water doesn't stay flat. Like water is water is being held by gravity. The like gravity's real, guys. <laughs> like everything on the earth pulls to the center. So if the water's here, it's being pulled to the center. So here it's flat, being pulled to the center. It looks flat because the earth is massive. So mass, so much bigger than you can freaking even fathom, you know? If the earth were flat and also spinning and there wasn't gravity, what's the water gonna do? It's all gonna be over here, right? Collecting on the fucking ice wall that I've never seen. <laughs> no offense. Love you guys. I love you guys. Don't get mad at me. I'm just like, we gotta figure this out. And I, I think that y'all are falling for some goofy shit. It's not your fault. This is what they want. They want us all. And, and I'm not fighting with you. I'm not trying to be divisive I, at all. Like, we gotta find middle fucking ground. Another thing people bring up. Airplane gyroscopes would have to adjust for curvature constantly, which they claim doesn't happen. But airplanes do account for that. You know, the airplanes with 50,000 gallons of fuel in their wings. <laughs> Dude, they're, it's just like they're falling. They're flying and falling around the earth. So... So yeah, gravity's always pulling down and it's saying, yeah, you're 10,000 feet from the earth, 10,000 feet from the earth, 10,000 feet from the earth, 10,000 feet from the earth. I, I don't understand what's so difficult about that. And not a space agency are a bunch of liars, yes, but that doesn't mean that every single thing they say is a lie. It does mean that everything they're saying has a lie. We need to figure that out. But I, I think we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. We're saying nothing's real where, where that's not the case. They always mix reality with their bullshit, right? So we got to find the lie. And the lie to me is that we're disconnected from Gaia, that none of this matters. We're alone, which is basically what Flat Earth says, guys. It really does when you get to the bottom of it. Like, is the Earth round? Yes. Is space real? Yes. But are we getting the full story? Absolutely not, dude. The, the story they're hiding is that we were on Mars before we were here. Well, some of those cucks were, and they ruined it. And then also that there's stuff on the moon. And that also the moon is perfect size to cause eclipses and stuff. How the hell did that happen, huh? So weird. Like, yeah, we're not getting the full story at all, but it... it it doesn't mean that everything is a lie. In my opinion, dude, the flat earth narrative isn't just a distraction. It's a direct attack on spirituality and cosmic truth, for real. It's a calculated move to make people reject the infinite beauty and alignment of the universe and fall into the trap of control-based systems like the Vatican's, you know? It's the ultimate psyop to sever humanity from source. And we can't be having that, dude. Think about it. If the Earth is flat, then there are no ley lines. There's no planetary alignments, no celestial harmonics. Astrology, nullified. The ether, denied. It's a deliberate decoupling from Gaia, the cosmos, and everything that connects us to higher consciousness. Flat Earth is a cage for the mind. I'm sorry. I love you. NASA are fucking liars, but there aren't. it's not about the Earth's shape. It's about control. By keeping the moon and Mars under lock and key, they're controlling all the, uh, hiding all the evidence of ancient civilizations, advanced tech, and the etheric flow that links everything. Flat Earth propaganda is perfect for pe keeping people small, both figuratively and literally. It traps them in a worldview where humanity is alone, unimportant, and unable to rise be beyond the confines of a flat plane, and it plays right into the hands of centralized religions and institutional systems that thrive on fear, submission, and ignorance. I'm not defending NASA. I'm defending truth and the ether spirituality. And dude, the infinite possibilities of the cosmos. Why are we limiting ourselves to a flat plane, a piece of paper? Come on. 
I'm not saying you guys are self-centered. I'm saying cosmically, it's a self-centered theory. That's it, okay? I love you guys. I'm not fighting with you, but we, we gotta, like, we, we gotta be on the same fucking page to fight these Lizzo cucks. Bye, love you.